Hi, I'm Travis Scott. Today we're at Big Soddy Creek Gulf uh, Natural Area in Soddy Daisy, Tennessee. I'm Rick Dunley. I'm the mayor of the city of Soddy Daisy. We are at the entrance to the Big Soddy Creek Park. This Big Soddy Creek area is a pristine area of the, the city of Soddy Daisy. That city purchased uh, several years ago and it's a, uh, a tributary to the Tennessee River. And it's just a, a city park that's uh, a lot like something you would see in the Smoky Mountains. We're here to promote a new trout stocking location, a trout fishing opportunity for anglers here in Tennessee. We've worked closely with the city of Soddy Daisy uh, to develop this new fishery. It's going to be unique for this area. Uh, not only are we going to have spring trout fishing opportunities, but we're going to have a delayed harvest component in the fall and winter months to provide a quality and trophy trout fishing opportunity. TWRA has been evaluating existing stocking locations for several years. We've received input from the public and as part of an effort to meet goals in the state trout management plan, we've developed a new trout stocking site evaluation form. We've had changes in demographics, changes in ownership on some of our trout stocking locations. A lot of our trout stocking is on private property uh, in the state and those opportunities have diminished over the years with new ownership, uh, changes in development. Trout are very limited uh, in what we can produce and we want to make sure we're putting them in locations that people are excited to fish for them, are able to fish for them, and, and make that connection between our anglers and trout fishing opportunities. The longer the amount of stream we have, the better. There's over a mile of Big Soddy Creek that we'll have access to and anglers will have access to. And it connects with part of the Cumberland Trail as well. And so there's really good access for anglers over a long distance. It's easy to get into stock. It's nice pool areas, riffle run areas that trout like to get in. And although the temperatures aren't suitable to keep trout year round, we are able, since it is public access in a large area, to develop that delayed harvest. Traditionally, a lot of our trout stocking occurred just in March, April, May. And so when we stock in the fall, Sometime in October, November, when the temperature uh, and flows are acceptable, we'll be able to put trout in. And now you're looking at uh, possibly late October, November, all the way through early June that you're going to have trout fishing here on this stream. There's also several amenities. We were looking at the amenities that are available to anglers. Some of our amenities are uh, we have an adequate parking lot. We have picnic tables. We have park benches along the, along the trail. We have a wide open gravel uh, trail and it's easy access to uh, people in uh, wheelchairs and uh, bicycles. And we have uh, restroom facilities in the park itself. Big Soddy Creek is going to be managed under a delayed harvest regulation in the fall from October 1st until the end of February. It'll be catch and release only, artificial lures only, and you can't have any bait on your person. From March 1st until the end of September, it's seven trout a day. We're here at Back Valley Road. This is the bridge that crosses Big Soddy Creek. This is where the special regulation for Big Soddy Creek, the delayed harvest regulation, will take effect in October 1 through the end of February. From this bridge upstream, it'll be catch and release only October 1st to the end of February. Remember, all anglers, in addition to a fishing license, will need their trout stamp to fish here in Big Soddy Creek.